In this snow, it means a long night ahead for plow drivers working to keep roadways clear. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us live with a real time look at road conditions. Mary, what are you seeing? Hey, Samantha, that's right. Right now we are on Southeast Alice Road coming through Waukee and we are taking it extremely slow. And let me show you why that is. Here's a look at what I'm seeing out my window. As you can see, quite a mess is still on these roads. We can feel that there's definitely a little bit of a layer of ice underneath the snow that you're seeing there. And you can definitely see a little bit of a change too when you're talking about those on and off ramps, the bridges. We've seen some people sliding around and we definitely see the plow crews that are out working in full force to really try to clean up this mess. And actually earlier today, I spoke with the public services director for West Des Moines now. He says this storm is really concerning for them for two reasons. One of those being the temperature that we know is gonna plunge, especially into tomorrow. He says a lot of their de-icing materials, he doesn't expect them to be very effective with what we're gonna have, meaning that crews might have to put out some sand to help drivers get a little bit of friction out there on the roads. But luckily they do have some neat technology that's gonna help those plow drivers kind of decide what to do tomorrow. So the snowplow operator actually have devices on their snowplow trucks that will let them know on a scale of zero to 100 what the road friction is. They can also see if the road's icy, whether it's dry, whether it's wet. They can get an idea of pavement temperatures and that all helps them when it comes to whether to put material down and how much. Now on top of those icy temperatures, we know that there's gonna be those intense wind gusts, meaning that all the snow that you're seeing, it's really gonna make visibility really difficult. So again, that's why these crews are asking that you stay off the roads to help them really get that work done. And again, even tonight, we've not only just seen the cars on the, on the side of the road, but also deer and things like that on the side of the road. So other things that you wanna be aware of as you head out, but again, hopefully you can stay home. Live in Waukee, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.